all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and blessings to the elect, the 144,000 that consists of men, women, and children. And the brothers out there making videos, teaching on the streets, you know, teaching our people, the ones that believe on Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, you know, due to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, because they, they're the ones that, uh, that, that gave us his truth. You know, I mean, ultimately, ultimately, it was the Lord Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai and Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. I mean, I was slacking. <laughs> Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the uh, is the true name of His Son. It's not Jesus Christ. You know, and it goes back to the Hebrew. Everything's translated. All right, and. Uh, Earlier, I was thinking about Micah uh, 2 and 10, I believe. It says, um, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And, uh, just roughly paraphrasing, and it, uh, it shall destroy you with a sore destruction. America is not our rest for you so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. America and these other parts of the world was our place to serve captivity. You know, for us breaking the commandments of the Heavenly Father. You know, and uh, America's about to be destroyed. You know, uh, where Israel is, missiles gonna be flying everywhere. All right, so you you can't prosper here. I mean, the Lord make it where you you're able to provide. You know, He give you a daily bread. You know, but other than that, the ways of America. It's not for us. It's for uh, these so-called white people, which are Edomites in the Bible. Their forefathers Esau, we Jacob, Yaquah, you know, they're, they're Esau and Shashua, you know. And basically, I told you a scripture out of Micah, where I'm about to read something out the Apocrypha. This is 2nd Ezra, the second chapter, uh, verse 24. It says, Abide still, O my people, and take thy rest, for thy quietness shall come. You know, that quietness and that rest will be in the kingdom of heaven, which will be on the earth, which, which will be also in Israel, the land of Israel. Because we are the Hebrew Israelites that went off in captivity. You know, they went off into slavery. You know, this is not our home. You know? And the Lord is going to give our people rest. First, the elect and the 144,000 and the one third. They're going to give our people rest. I mean, uh, Slaki. The Lord is going to give our people rest. You know? And the main person that he's going to use to give us rest, you know, is his son, Yahweh. That's what he went on the cross for. You know, he went on the cross for the nation of Israel. You know, Yahweh Shai. He didn't die for the whole world. John 3 16, the word for world goes back to cosmos. Alright. I, I don't have the strongs, but I know the I know the word. Alright, and it's cosmos, which goes back to a society, you know, basically uh like how you have the entertainment world, the world of entertainment, the world of sports. Well that world that I was talking about was the nation of Israel. The world of Israel, the nation of Israel, you know, that's who the Lord, that's who the Lord uh, died for on the cross. All right, He didn't die for the whole world, you know. Though you have Israel scattered around the world, He died for those Israelites too, not for these other nations. These other nations, they can't get this water, this living water, the, the truth, you know. And um, another thing too. Revelations 2 and 9, uh, I know that works in tribulation, uh, just roughly paraphrasing, thou are rich, and I know the blasphemy of them will say they are Jews. If the real people are in the land of Israel, so called, the Jewish, why, uh, why hasn't, why haven't the Lord came back? Why is the Lord not with them? Where is their Lord at? so-called 
Where is their savior? If they're the real Jews, how the fuck did they get right back into the land of Israel? And prophecy said that Israel would go into captivity. Huh? Why was 1948, 1949, the Balfour Declaration was signed? Why? If they was the real Jews. Huh? Because they're not the Jews. If they're the Jews, where is Benjamin? Where is Levi? Where is the Northern Kingdom? Where is Ephraim? Where are they at? Huh? They're over here. The Northern Kingdom came over here to, to the Americas first. This place is called Azareth in, uh, in the Apocrypha. When they uh, went into the Syrian captivity. Oh, here it go, right here. Second, this is uh, Second Edris 13. I'm going to read 40 through 45. It says, Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king, who Salmaneser the king of Assyria led away captive. And he carried them over the waters, and he came, uh, slack it, and so came they into another land. All right? That land is America. They fled from Assyria on down the east coast of Africa, and it's going to go in and talk about how, they, how it took them a year and a half, you know? And uh, I'm going to keep reading. But they took, but they took this council among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. And that, that land was the Americas. You know, the Bahamas, the Americas, mainly the Americas. But you had the tribes also go to the so-called Bahamas. You know, where, where uh, the tribe of Benjamin, which is the Jamaicans, uh, that the uh, so-called Haitians are Levi, you know, and uh, and the ten tribes were were Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Naphtali. Um, you know, uh, and and those were the you know those were the tribes that they went into these other countries. You know, basically to serve our power, Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, because they couldn't keep the customs um, in in the in these heathen uh, territory, you know, in these heathen lands, you know, and it said um, here it go. It says in verse forty two that they might keep their statues which they never kept in their own land, and two in the land of Israel, we were going off. You know, the uh, Northern Kingdom went out first, you know, and uh, basically they didn't keep the customs of the land. So the Lord got uh, rid them out of the land, you know. And, uh, and it says, and they entered to the, uh, <sighs> so lucky. and they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages, narrow passage, yeah, passages of the river for the most high. Then shoot signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. So the Most High helped them uh, get to this other land and he held still the floods. You know, the waves of the seas, you know, and helped them. He showed them signs how to get here, you know. And it says, For through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half. And the same reason is called Azareth. And this was the Americas that they came over to. You know? So, who are the Jews? Where is the kingdom of Israel? You know? They're over here in America. And scattered around the world too because, you know, during the time of 70 AD, the kingdom, well, yeah, the kingdom of Judah uh, which consists of Benjamin Levi. They uh, they fled the land of Israel of Jerusalem, you know, 
because the Roman persecution of crackers was coming to take us over. But then too, you had a, a number of Israel going to uh, Asia Minor, you know, they went into other parts of Europe and their seed is in that land today, you know? So, I mean, it's just something, it's just common sense with who uh, the real Jews are, but it's only for the elect and the one third to get this. It's not for all of our people. Because, you know, be honest with you, all of our people, most of our people don't give a fuck about this. And I'm just gonna keep it real like how it is. Cause I, I can see it, you can see it every day. When you in the truth, you can see it. You know, cause this, hopefully the spirit of the Lord is dealing with you and your house shy is sucking with you, you know? Basically, when you heard the apostles or the brothers speaking this truth of, of Great Millstone and other camps that, that teach of Great Millstone, you know, you basically heard the door, you heard the Lord, you know, uh, it's a scripture that I'm talking about in Revelations, how the Lord be at the door and he's going to knock. Well, you hearing him knock was basically you hearing of the, the uh, apostles and the brothers speaking of the great millstone. And, you know, and the angel or angels are by you holding your ears, your spiritual ears and your spiritual eyes where you can either understand the truth or you cannot understand it. Either you're going to be a one-third or 144, or you're a two-third and you're going to die and come back in the kingdom because ultimately all of Israel will be saved, you know. But first it's going to be the elect and the one-third that's going to be delivered and saved. Not all, not, not all of our people on this side because two-thirds, they got to receive their judgment along with these fucking heathens because our people had the Lord put on the cross, you know. And they despise the Lord. So with that, I'm going to close this out. It's just a quick sit down about who the real Jews are and where the Jews are. And who's the kingdom, uh, where's the kingdom of Israel, or the real kingdom. You know, and the Lord is going to clean the land of Israel for us too. You know, because they're over there. <clears throat> they're over there in that land. Popping each other in the ass, the faggots. Wars. Killing the Palestinians. You know. So these other nations, they, they know what time it is. And they and also, too, these other nations, they know who Israel is, the real Israelites are. And if you notice, too, the Jewish, they're not calling themselves Israelites. They're Israelis. All right, so this is for the elect, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, one-third, that consists of men, women, and children. I'm going to say, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the brothers out there teaching of the doctrine of Great Millstone. You know, when the brothers on down, we almost out of here. These wars popping off. We're rumors of wars. <laughs> Russia, Magog, Persia, Iran. You know, all their bands are coming together. Turkey, Togomar, Gomer. Shalom. America is going to be destroyed. When the economy collapse, even before that, all you have is Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Your family going to come up against you if they're not in the truth. Friends. All you have is yourself, the brotherhood, and Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Shalom.